What's going on, everybody? It's Reefly here, and I'm back with another episode of Reefly, whatever the hell I call this series. I'm going to check. Reefly, Reefly's anime discussion, or reviews and discussions, I think it's called. Reefly anime reviews and discussions, yes. This week, or this episode... I don't know why I keep saying this week, because I don't think this is going to be a weekly thing. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But last week, or last episode, <laughs> I did Tokyo Ghouls episode 1. And <clears throat> a, little, a little insider information. That was recorded about half an hour ago. <laughs> so... I'm doing a ba you know a few back to back since I got a uh, finals next week and I got a crap ton of papers right this week. Uh, and this is probably one of the few times I'm gonna have some free time and I don't really feel like playing any games at the moment, so I thought I'd just record a bunch of these for <laughs> the night. But let's get back to what I'm gonna be talking about because I keep going way off subject. And I'm going to try to make this one at shorter than the previous two. Um, but it might be difficult because there's a lot to talk about. Because I'm going to be talking about Bleach. And Bleach is, again, one of my favorite uh, animes. Um, I basically got like three, three of my top five favorite animes down. Uh, which I usually want to save those for a rainy day, but I can always revisit them because there's a lot to talk about, especially with like stuff like Dragon Ball Z. I didn't even really touch on a lot of that and Bleach, there's a lot to talk about. So, but basically Bleach follows Ichigo Kurosaki, who through... A bunch of events uh, gains the power of a soul reaper, which is basically a deaf samurai, <laughs> something like that. It is basically somebody from another world or the afterlife who battles evil spirits and bad people and the first few I think it's season one they actually touch on like how we're supposed to rescue uh, good spirits from becoming hollows but they really don't touch on that later on in the series because they just they kind of just eh whatever forget that but <clears throat> season one is pretty down to earth, uh, and Ichigo's just beginning to understand his powers because he first inherited it from Rukia. Where I guess season one basically it's not really his powers; it's Rukia. He's kind of using her powers, but you learn that eventually he already had the powers in him. So he gains his own, and he's much stronger because of it. But uh, somewhere in Season 1, Rukia, who is a soul reaper, has, uh, is in trouble for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's because she... It's something to do with Ichigo. Because I mean, she gave her powers away to Ichigo or something like that. So she gets taken away, and Ichigo goes to rescue her in uh, Serate. I think that's what it's called. I'm actually amazed I remembered all of this stuff, because I have not watched the show in years. <laughs> but uh, there's 300-plus episodes. So there's a lot of show. Um, so, kind of, so kind of just to speed this up, he goes to try to rescue Rukia, and he has to 
basically get stronger and stronger and fight other soul reapers and eventually he does rescue Rukia and there's way more and more other story stuff I can touch on but I'd be talking for like 20 minutes but basically it's about Ichigo he fights guys and it gets pretty epic at times um Now, season two, I think it is. Might be season three. It's kind of weird because, like, the characters, like, change throughout the whole series. They kind of, like, look slightly different later on. And they do, like, grow up a bit. But Ichigo and his friends, I guess, in season two, go meet up. Or go try to save Rukia. And there's Orihime, there's Chad, which is just the ba most basic name, but it's Chad. And there's. Oh, what's the uh, glasses, dude? Oh, man, I should know this. Uh. He's the arrow dude. What's his name? I know I know it. It's not Renji. Uh, dang it. What's his name? Uryu. Yeah, that's right. There you go. Yeah, rescue. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, Ichigo tries to save. Her and he fights really the first big battle uh, in this show was between Ichigo and. Oh man, I should know this guy. I don't know why I don't know his name. It's going to bug me once I figure it out. See, it's been. I told you, it's been years since. Oh, what's his name? It's Zaraki. What's his first name? Kimpachi. Kimpachi Zaraki, who's just a just a badass. <laughs> like he's just this big dude, who is one of the only Soul Reapers not to actually. How do I say this? <laughs> Connect with his Zanpak toe, which is his sword, and all Reapers have Zanpak toes. That's what makes him a Soul Reaper. Um. So his Zompak Toe is basically a crappy sword, but all his energy and power is from him, and he's really strong. And he likes to kill people. He likes to fight. Um, but yeah, see, that, that's like the first real big fight, and Ichigo manages to take him down. Well, I guess it's pretty much a tie, because they both get knocked out, but Ichigo takes him down. And then he has to go train again. Because he can't take down. He can't take down. Jesus, I don't remember all these people's names. He can't take down. It's not Kisuke. Aizen's way later. This really sucks. Like, because I know these characters... Okay, just Rukia's somewhat brother, who is a badass, too. He's, like, second badass man behind Ichigo. I need to beast the crap out of Ichigo. And eventually develops his Bankai, which is just an advanced form. It's basically Super Saiyan. <laughs> and he eventually takes down the dude... Beat him up, who I can't remember his name. Oh man, this really bothers me. I need to figure out this guy's name because it's important.
What's his freaking name? I don't know. I can't find it. I'm not going to look for it. But, yeah, stuff happens. People get stronger and stronger. And eventually there's this storyline that happens during Season 3 and after the fight that really doesn't get picked up until, like, multiple multiple seasons afterwards. And it's, like, the main storyline of, uh, of the series. And that's, uh... Oh, crap. I forgot what this is called. Man, I definitely need to... <laughs> I should have studied up a bit. What's it called? I, I, I know I'm going to hit myself in the head once I... Hogyoku, that's what it is. God. Um, yeah, Hogyoku, which is like a... They still haven't really even explained it much, really. <laughs> it's just, like, it's got a lot of power. And a character by the name of Sosuke Aizen, who's a Soul Reaper, one of the captains. He steals it, uh, and he disappears for five, six seasons. <laughs> Well, they do other stuff. And that's one of the big problems with this series is out of all of the seasons, which there is a lot, there's tw 26 seasons. There's no way there's 26. There's 26 seasons. All of varying levels of episodes. I would say maybe half of them probably less, are worth watching. Because there's a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot of filler. A lot of episodes where nothing happens. A lot. A lot. It's probably, it's the most out of every, most out of any anime I've watched. It's ridiculous. And it's one of the main reasons why I can understand why people knock the show a lot or don't really finish it or really watch it because there's over 300 episodes and there's, and I would say most of those episodes are, or like a hundred of those episodes are just a waste of time. I don't know why they did it, but that's what happens. Uh, but like I said, there's like five really, really, if you just, if you just basically got rid of all the bad seasons and just included good seasons, this is one of the best shows ever. <laughs> but you can't take away the bad seasons. Because um, this, this show uh, has some of the best fights of any uh, anime I've watched. Like, it's up with a lot of Dragon Ball Z fights and Naruto fights. Um, and... Eventually, Ichigo just becomes a complete, a complete badass. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, is, like, which season is that in? It's pretty late on, but the whole Aizen saga continues into, like, a, a saga called the Spada saga and all that, which uh, is a pretty good season, or seasons, but they... It's weird because, like, they, they split it up at the worst time. There's, like, they end a season on a really big cliffhanger, and they don't continue it on until, like, two or three seasons. <laughs> and it's just really... I'm I'm very lucky that, like, I started watching this show when I was uh, younger. And I, I watched it when it was on Toonami all the time. And I didn't watch it for, like, four or five years afterwards. And I finally decided to, like, just splurge and just watch all the episodes until completion. And if I didn't do that, I probably would have never finished the show. Because there's just... I just skipped so many episodes. Because it was just not worth watching. Oh, man. Just so many worthless episodes. No, but there's, like, Espada seasons are pretty good. There's a few before the Espada. 
which I don't even know what they're called. Those are pretty good. There's uh, the Bount. I think that's what they're called. That's a, that's a solid season, but not the best. Yeah, there's a lot of just hit and miss seasons, like I said. Jesus freaking Christ. Like, I'm trying to go through these seasons, but there's so many of them that I can't figure out which one's which. Okay, how about 18? Nope, that's still crap. <laughs> still the crappy seasons. Yeah, so 19, I think. It picks back up, and it has a really awesome fight in the beginning. Um, because Ichigo... This is kind of a spoiler, but eh, it's not that... The, the story in the series isn't awful, but it's not really why you watch. It's because of the fights. And the story... Or not the story. Uh, Ichigo, because of how he inherited his powers, like he had to train again to get his powers back after he lost Rukia's. He, something happened where he almost became a hollow and I'm not going to try to explain how that happened but he somehow inherited the power of a hollow so for like a lot of the seasons he's fighting against this inner hollow who wants to take over and it provides for a lot of awesome moments um, and it makes him stronger <laughs> and later on at, during a spot of seasons he the hollow part becomes more pr prominent and it's pretty cool. He gets really strong. Uh, but once he kind of gets, to, once you get to the, like the eyes and the eyes and East go fight is probably my favorite, uh, battle of all anime. There might, um, I would say so. It tops some of the, you know, like uh, Goku and Frieza, in my opinion, and, and Gohan, oh, maybe not, uh, and Gohan and Cell. I would say it's my favorite fight because it's just so badass. Like what Ichigo becomes, it's just oh, it's just it's just it's just a definition of cool. Like just, I'm gonna put up a picture. Of what he looks like. Spoilers, if you don't want to see it, just don't look at the screen. But it, it's he's cool. He just looks really cool. He just completely manhandles. I, I should shut up before <laughs> before I completely spoil everything. He just he's a boss, Ichigo, and Aizen's a boss too. But he he looks really weird. But man, that fight's ridiculous. And then we continue on a few seasons after that, and it just... It, I, they should have just ended the series after the Aizen fight, but they made sure to leave the door open. But yeah, like I said, a lot of, I would say majority of seasons aren't worth watching, and that's one of the main reasons why this series is kind of... Uh, it's not up there with a whole bunch of other animes for people, but it's one, like, since I was able to just watch all the episodes at once, I was able to kind of skip a lot of the bad parts, so I, I'm higher in the show than a lot of people, and I really do enjoy it, because the fights are awesome, a lot of characters are really cool, there's some epic moments, and, uh, if you avoid some of the seasons, like, if you want me to give you some advice as to what to watch or what seasons um just let me know in the comments it might take me a while to figure it out because there's a lot of seasons but i usually say like the first three to four seasons uh are, are worth watching actually probably the first five because seasons are really weird in this show because the season doesn't actually mean the end of a season. Actually, first six seasons. Wow, that's that's season six. Oh my god. Yeah, first six seasons, seven seasons. 
Yeah, first seven seasons are actually worth watching. All of them. Season eight, no. Then you can go back to season nine. Just, you're going to have to skip a lot of seasons after nine. Probably half of them. But yeah. I would say you can watch the first six, seven seasons. No, no problems without without having to really skip anything because they're all pretty solid but then after that there's a lot of crappy seasons but in between those crappy seasons there are a lot of really cool fights and good seasons but yeah it's it's an awesome show the music's really good too it has some of the best uh, soundtracks in my opinion because there's a lot of epic uh, awesome music that fits the fights uh, and from where this, the show starts, it really just kind of go. It just gets really bonkers towards the end of it. So, yeah, it's just, it's a a fun show to watch. I really do enjoy it. Um, I would probably give us a four out of five stars. If you take away the bad seasons, it's a f it's probably like a five out of five. But you can't take away the bad seasons, so it's a it's a four out of five. If you're willing to go through over, like, hundreds of episodes and skip a few seasons, or I guess if you're really just looking for uh, anime vets, uh, kind of going to be really long and it's going to take you a lot of time to go through, I would recommend this. Because, um, like I said, the fights are definitely worth seeing. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> but that should wrap it up. Still a pretty long episode, but there's a lot to talk about. Um, I didn't really go too in-depth because there's a lot to talk about. And the story is not that big of a, a problem, and I didn't really want to spoil much of the fights. But uh, I'm probably going to do a separate video of like my top... My, my like my favorite anime fights or something. And this show will probably have multiple ones, but there's countless good fights, even those not included in Ichigo. So yeah, I'll wrap it up. Let me know in the comments what shows you want me to to review or discuss. Uh, I will probably not make another one of these until I get a suggestion. And if I don't, then. It probably won't be one of my favorites. I'll probably pick some random one. It probably won't be an action one. It'll probably be some kind of comedy. Actually, I think I know what I might do. I, I might have an idea. But uh, feel free to suggest uh, what you would like me to kind of change up with the show. Uh, I definitely amped up my editing for episode two. Still not that great, but... It will get better. It really sucks how I can't do clips of the shows because I don't because I'll get a copyright. But maybe at some point I'll be allowed to. Yeah, just send me some feedback. Suggest animes. And uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think so far. Let me know what you think of Bleach, if you want, if you uh, are a fan of it or not. But I'll wrap it up. So thanks for watching. I will conclude my review slash discussion of Bleach. Very solid show of some great fights and action. And a decent story. But some cool characters as well. Um... Yeah, it's a long series, but it's I would say most of it's worth it. But thanks for watching. I'll see you later.